I would look at it as not rupees sliding and look at it as dollar strengthening dollar strengthening incessantly so obviously all other currencies are performing against a strengthening dollar and uh, I'm not talking technicalities but it is a matter of fact that India's rupee probably has withstood this uh, dollar um, you know rates going up the exchange rate in favor of dollar strengthening is there and I think Indian rupee has performed much better than many other emerging market currencies. Folks, Nirmala Sitaraman's statement on the dollar not depreciating but the rupee strengthening uh, gave rise to many memes and it was a, uh, it was a topic of much uh, debate and discussion a while back. However, even as I make this video, the uh, the dollar to rupee ratio still stands at 1 is to 80, which means that 1 dollar still equals uh, 80 Indian rupees. Uh, but but what does what does it actually mean when I say that 1 dollar equals 80 rupees? Well, in very crude terms, it means that if you want to buy 1 dollar using Indian rupees, you will have to pay 80 rupees to buy 1 dollar. That is the value of a dollar. And uh, this same value at the beginning of the year 2022 was around 73 to 72, 73. So as you see, the value of the rupee has depreciated or as another way to say it is the value of the dollar has uh, strengthened. Uh, however, uh, how, does, how, how has it happened and how is this 1 to 80 ratio decided? Who decides it and why has the rupee depreciated? Why has dollar strengthened and overall uh, finally has is what Nirmala Sitaraman is saying uh, she is claiming that the Indian rupee has performed better than other currencies other foreign currencies uh, is that claim true well let's find out in this video my name is Ishan Fazdar and you are watching the upfront <laughs> To begin with, let us first, first understand the exchange rate uh, around the world and how the international exchange rate works. Now, because we live in, because every country has every has different currencies and we live in a globalized uh, neoliberal uh, market, it is essential to have a exchange rate system in place so that uh, one currency can be translated into order and there could be exchange of currencies. Now, because we live in a neoliberal system, because we live in a free market system which is due to the neoliberal capitalism, uh, the exchange rate around the world is, uh, is, is uh, governed by the demand supply principle. Now, if you do not understand terms such as free market or neoliberalism, please do refer to this video of mine, I made this a while back. Uh, uh, you will understand uh, the different capitalism terms and economy terms in this one. Uh, coming back demand supply so how does demand supply uh, how does demand supply uh, uh, govern the uh, exchange rate let me explain this with a very crude example let us say uh, let us take a situation for example let us say that india uh, imports more goods from the us than it exports to it if that be true then india would be using more dollar uh, India would be using more dollars to purchase rupees because India has to uh, import more. So because India has to import more, it will have to use more dollar. And because US has to expo export more and import less, it will have it will have to use less rupee. So the the exchange of dollar increases, the demand of dollar rises, and when the demand rises, the value of the dollar also rises. When the demand of the rupee decreases, the value of the rupee also decreases. This is crudely how the exchange rates work in the entirety of the world. Because the because dollar is very widespread, it is used for a plethora of international transactions. The value of dollar is uh, increasing, uh, and uh, this is how exchange rates work. The system that we are living in today is called the free floating exchange rate system because no uh, currency is pegged to a substance. Every currency is governed by every other and that is how it works but uh, in the past after the Bretton Woods conference we had a system in which the US dollar was pegged to the gold reserve. At that time the dollar was governed by the value of the dollar was governed by the gold reserves and accordingly exchange rate worked but that system crashed. So 
today we are in the free floating uh, exchange rate system now we come to the main question why is the rupee depreciating depreciating the major reason and for it and i i, I would say one of the major reasons for it is that the dollar is strengthening uh if you see the gap on the screen on your screen right if you see the map uh, the chart on your screen or the whatever the bar graph on your screen right now you would you would see that uh, rupee rupee and all the other major currencies have declined over the year in comparison to dollar and dollar is one of the only currencies that had that has uh, increased in value that has trended in value why is this happening there are many reasons for it and we'll have to go into the american economy for it but i would uh, just focus on one and just tell you one which is that the us federal banks are hiking the interest rates now uh, how does hiking in hiking the interest rates uh, uh, affect the value of the rupee or uh, the dollar now the, the central banks of all countries uh, try to control the inflation by hiking the interest rates and when this happens the the value of the currency is also affected you should watch my video on inflation to understand this more properly uh, and i have explained uh, it in that video properly so uh, hiking of the interest rates in us is leading to strengthening of the dollar and uh, the same is also being done in india but not at that pace that is one reason but the dollar strengthening is only one of the reasons why the rupee is depreciating there are other major reasons uh, let's look at them and uh, the major one is that india firstly that the india india is losing its foreign reserves india is depreciating its foreign reserves uh it has depreciated a lot in the last year itself uh and we need to ask the government as to why the investors are not investing in india why is there no for, why is the why is there a shortage in the foreign investment in the country and this is something that the government has to look after because understand that if investors invest in india if, and if there are more transaction in rupee then the uh, demand for rupee will increase and hence the value for the rupee will also increase this is one way uh, other reasons there are other major reasons uh, there's the ukraine war happening there because of the ukraine war because of all the other crises in the middle east the prices oil oil prices are going up if the oil prices go up we have to pay more for the oil that payment is in dollar dollar transaction goes up dollar demand goes up rupee depreciates that is how everything works in the international market and that is and these these are and these the cut the cut off of supply chains during the pandemic these are major reasons why the rupee has depreciated over the years however on the other hand it is also true that indian rupee is one of the most uh, is one of the is one of those currencies that has performed well in comparison to other major currencies such as the pound the rupee has depreciated less in comparison to the dollar and uh, this uh, credit should also go to the government and should the government alone finally we come to the part to understand what will be the impact of this uh, depreciation of rupee first of all it will be very difficult for students who are studying abroad to study uh, things will get expensive for them as rupee depreciates and it will become uh, it will become a hard time for them tourism will become very important very difficult to foreign countries such as us indians would find it more difficult to go there because us is getting more and more expensive for us finally depreciation also means that our currency is is reducing is is reducing in value which means that the imports will reduce as as imported things will become more expensive imported when imported things become more expensive inflation will rise and this is a reason depreciation is also a cause for high inflation which can lead to a lot of harm to the economy uh, such as hyperinflation and recession and other plethora of economic deadlocks so yeah this was how depreciation works if you did like this video do subscribe to our youtube channel press the bell icon to receive regular updates on whenever we upload a new video thank you so much